This is a James Poe Artistry Consultant Moment. Hello, Perceptive Readers. This is a James Poe Artistry Consultant Moment. And um, I hope you are having a wonderful day. We're in the month of March. I hope you did your affirmations. <laughs> and remember, as you express your thankfulness and appreciation for the grand creator himself, you know, what you uh, love about him even, make sure you express something that is great about yourself, that is wonderful about yourself. In this uh, consultant moment, I want to talk about what will help uh, somebody and will help me help yourself uh, with your uh, uh, correspondence, email correspondence. There are features um, in different email programs. Outlook uh, has been known for this for years, a very wonderful feature. Uh, but I imagine, uh, you know, they got other applications that also has this feature where when you send an email to somebody, you can turn on a pop-up box, if you will, that whenever they click to open it, um, it will send you a message that they uh, opened it. See, and it works in a couple of ways. One, you can even get a message when it was actually just received uh, to the servers as well. So whether the person opened the email, you see, or not, you will at least uh, get a notification that it was delivered, that your email was delivered. And I have a, a timestamp and I have a whole lot of other information, like uh, what they call routing information or where it went, what server it went to that of the company, et cetera, et cetera. Now, with that being said, uh, people sometimes uh, will run into um, a conflict and um, and they'll say, I never did receive that email. So what quite possibly happened? Well, the thing about it is with that information you do have uh, with the email, you see that I told you that you get that notification when it was delivered and it shows all the routing information. Then what has happened sometimes, you see, in the past is that it went to the person's company or it went to their um, box or what have you. But then when it actually um, traveled uh, through the security of um, other, you know, of the exchange servers, the exchange servers uh, might have actually had these default uh, settings on it where even the notification um for the type of pop-ups and things of that nature uh, just wouldn't really work. You see what I'm saying? Uh, they would actually have to um, um, turn on a certain feature so that you will still receive that information that, yes, the person did at least open the email because sometimes those features are, you know, blocked. There are certain rules that can uh, be done. But all the same, I just want you to know that uh, it still is very helpful on your end when you're writing important correspondence to somebody that you set that notification that if they want to say that they received it and they click on it, you see what I'm saying? Let me tell you another reason why this helps. Because if you ever had some type of security uh, breach, you see, where a person's uh, identity was swapped out or what have you. And everybody has like a, you know, a serial number, if you will, uh, uh, to their own computers and phones and stuff like that, where whoever opened it or clicked on that email or what have you. So let's say, for instance, I'm in the United States. Um, and I click on an email that you sent me and even a box that says, do you want to send a notification that you actually uh, received it and opened it or what have you? And I click on it. Then in that routing information, they'll know, okay, it really did come from me. 
you see, that I received your message and and I okayed it. And then if we need to verify it over the telephone or whatever, hey, we got two, three, four points of uh, verification or what have you. Now, if that email was actually intercepted, you see, and it was another phone that is not mine and it was still in another uh, country or another section of the United States or what have you, uh, that could be tracked down as well to at least verify that, no, this is uh, James never did receive this email. You see what I'm talking about? So that is one feature in this consultant moment I would recommend uh, that you use um, for important matters. And especially if you're actually, um, you know, corresponding with me, um, it, it would it would help. And it'll help uh, also track down uh, persons who who may, like I said, have opened your stuff, uh, 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 taken your stuff that you never did even know about uh, through what they call middlemen in the middleman attacks and things of that nature. Uh, this was uh, basically a uh, security, information technology security uh, advancement for you. Okay, have a very wonderful day. And I tell you what, this month has really started off uh, with a bang, so to speak, having it. And so remember, it's also a very spiritual month uh, as well. Uh, so with everything going on, be sure to, in your affirmations, as I mentioned before, say something spiritual to the most high God, whose personal name is Jehovah, also himself. You see, take care of yourself. Bye bye.